I am the drama. Just as I recall that I said no nail mark tonight. Which so then I picked him up and I brought my dog in the house, but then I had to love it. So go ahead and drink up. I'm so glad we got to leave. Good morning, YouTube. I'm outside my bestie house right now. I'm picking up this cake thing she just made me. Hold on, let me show y'all. Cause it look fire. It got cupcakes on top, Rice Krispies, the little wafers, the extremes, and then it's like a whole bunch of layers of cake. I can't wait to eat this. This is gonna be so fire. She just wanted to try it and like get pictures of it and stuff like that and just attempt it. So I told her she can make it for me and I'm definitely going to have to share it because this is a lot. Like this thing is so heavy y'all. But I'll let y'all know. I don't even got to let y'all know how it tastes. I know it's going to be fire. All the cake stuff, cupcakes, all that I get from her be so good. And I'm not just saying that because she my bestie either. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. All I have to do today is finish my hair. I'm doing like these island twist things over my locks. I got to finish my hair and then I have a real estate event to go to later. So I'll tune back in whenever I'm doing something else. But I'm about to start devouring this. And it's sad because it's 827 in the morning and I cannot wait to get home to get a fork to try this. So y'all see I kind of did some of my hair. It's not completely done so I look crazy. But I got home and my mama said she wanted to go And this is one of like my favorite places to do that. So here we are. And I'm about to show y'all what I get on my bowl. Cause I think my combination is undefeated. Nobody Chipotle bowls be better than my Chipotle bowls. the drama as y'all can see i'm done with my hair it didn't really take me too long i think i got it done pretty fast for considering i went to go eat and i was taking breaks and i was on tiktok and facebook and editing a whole youtube video so it didn't really take me too long probably like three hours in total if i wouldn't have stopped it probably would have took like three hours but i'm dressed i really it's like a whole hour and a half before i even have to leave i just wanted to get dressed so i have this time to chill because i'm super tired so i just wanted to be able to chill and then be able to leave opposed to like rushing and trying to get ready and then leaving so i just started to go ahead and get ready um the event is the speed dating event i had did one when i was vlogging like i want to say that was like maybe february I don't know it was some months back and it was like one of my first videos but i know i have some new people here so what the event is is like people who are potential buyers they come and they'll basically speed date different realtors and lenders so it'll be a realtor and lender pair at a table and then the buyers they're like circling around and rotating to speak to different ones of us and then at the end we'll all come together and then that buyer will pick who they want to date or who they're choosing as their match 
quote unquote like who's their realtor that they want to work with who's the lender that they want to work with so that's how this works um by the end of it hopefully i'll have some more people under contract with me and i'll be able to get some more business going close some deals but yeah that's all i don't really know what the next update is going to be because since i'm going to be working i won't really have time to record and i don't think it's going to be like decorated or anything so i don't know if there's going to be like anything to record to show y'all or not um this light <laughs> comes from above our paintings our artwork and the light that i usually have attached to my camera is dead right now so you gotta make do what you got you gotta make do what you got i kind of actually like it though the spotlight feel kind of hurt my arm <laughs> but yeah that's it guys one oh fabulous one oh set <sighs> walking into the place for the event right now i finally i got my car cooled off and then i just left to drive to my destination because i was already low-key kind of late but i'm here now super hot i just tripped on the sidewalk lost my train of thought again i don't even know what i'm about to say the weather's blowing me off guys it's a new day i'm about to go to brunch i know y'all probably like she go to brunch every day it feel like i go to brunch every day but i just feel like that's the best type of meal that you can have and i'm meeting with two girls who are interested in becoming a real estate agent so i'm just going to talk to them and i'm gonna take them like my training books that i have from when i first started um just talk to them a little bit about our company and what the process and the journey has been like what to expect let them ask me any questions but yeah that's what i'm about to do and we're gonna get some good food Everything is custom conversation is so boring. What about what? I hate her, I don't agree, I did it first. I give a fuck, I just won't fuck. Be asleep, love, happy king and me. Hey guys. I realized I didn't even update y'all yesterday about how my meeting went with the brunch and the girls and all that. So one girl wasn't able to make it, but the other one did come. And we talked for like an hour and a half with each other straight. I went over, so this book is like company policies and stuff, Keys Realty Group. This one is our training guide. And they will be receiving all of this if they decided to come um, be an agent with us. But I went over that with her. I answered any questions that she had. We just talked about real estate in general, our goals. Um, we got her interested in real estate, all that type of stuff. And it was like super cool, like super, super cool. I actually already knew her before. So the vibe was like really good. It wasn't like no awkward moments or nothing. The food, y'all know how I am about my waffles. I tell y'all this in every vlog. That was a good waffle. It had, it tasted like it was like some type of caramelized sugar on it. Plus the syrup. It was just chef's kiss. The food was really good. The chicken was seasoned really well. Um, That place was love is key. I'll have it like in the little location thing in the text box down there for y'all. But today, later, I'm going to the library because myself and some other agents from the brokerage were helping community members appeal their tax assessments because the property taxes have been rising, like, ridiculously here in Kansas City. So we're helping them appeal their tax assessments to try to get their taxes down and make sure that they're actually correct in relation to their property. So that's what I'm doing today as well as some other work, some homework. Mm, I'll update y'all with whatever I end up actually doing though because yeah I forgot that I wanted to tell y'all I was supposed to do hair this morning so I'm down there sitting out the hair on my rack all that getting ready preparing and then she texted me that she's outside I'm supposed to be doing her niece hair she texted me that she's outside and so I go open the door for her she walks up with seven kids and i'm just like oh, wow you really have a tribe with you in the car she walked up with seven kids and they were all so nice and polite they all like were just adorable they looked just alike but two of them were her nieces and then the others were her children and so um the little girl whose hair i was supposed to be doing she had twist in her hair still and it's in my policy that i want people to come with their hair washed and blow dried 
So I said, do you want me to put the box braids over her twist? Like, is that what I'm doing? And she said, no, can you take them down? I said, no ma'am, I cannot. That's not, I'm not able to fit that into my schedule today, even if I am able to add that on to an additional service. Like, I really wouldn't have minded for her, but I really just did not have time in my schedule today. And also... I sent you my policy in advance and it clearly states that how I want you to come with your hair prepared and she really just didn't know like so this is not me talking about her I'm just speaking about people in general but there is a huge difference between a braider and a cosmetologist I have my braider certification I am certified to braid through the state of Missouri but with that braider certification we cannot blow dry hair we cannot wash hair. We cannot do anything like that. We can braid. We cannot do anything that technically changes the chemicals, chemicals of the hair, you know, which is applying heat, applying washing, any of that. We're not cosmetologists. We can't do that. So that's why a lot of people be expecting braiders to include that. And we're really not supposed to. It's illegal. So, yeah, that's why braiders don't do that. But it was sad. I had to send her away. And then, oh, she's so sweet. Her mom had ended up cash up me anyway for the price of her hair. Because I guess she just she didn't want me to miss my money today or anything like that. So, she just went ahead and paid me in advance. And then, we rescheduled her appointment for later in the week. And then, I told her that she I'll still blow out her hair even though I'm not supposed to. Because she just said she didn't know how. So, I told her just take it down and wash it. And when she comes, that I'll blow out her hair for her. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know how my morning went. Y'all, so I'm sitting here eating my Chipotle that y'all seen me eating two days ago. And it's just crazy to me because I be having the audacity to get extra rice when I order. Knowing that I do not be eating all this food and it be taking me forever to eat my Chipotle. Like, it takes me, well, my bowls at least. Like, if I get a quesadilla or a burrito, I can finish that within a day. But even those, I don't be able to finish my Chipotle in one seating. So, seating, setting, whatever. I don't be able to finish it. So it would just be crazy to me. And I still be ordering extra rice. I think it's like a mental thing. Like if I look at my bowl and it look empty. I'm going to be disappointed. And feel like y'all being stingy with the portion. So give me another scoop of rice. I think that's what it is. But I'm just eating real quick before I leave. To head to the library. To do these assessment appeals. I'm actually looking forward to it though. Because it's kind of ridiculous. And I like the idea of helping out the community. It's really people who need to be able to do this so they can afford to live in their home still. So, yeah, I'll let y'all know when I get there. I need someone to please start reminding me to start my car before I come outside. I got in the temperature thing said 110 degrees. 110. And it should be like, why are you not starting the car before you get in it? I don't know. I just never remember. And that bothers me. I bother myself. y'all hey so i'm back home from doing the appeals well we didn't actually do the appeals we have pulled comps for them for them to be able to use those comparable properties when they submit their appeals because my broker had ran some and it was taking her like an hour just to complete one whole appeal so we wanted to just be making sure that like we can help the most people possible we had a lot of people there it was a really good turnout because these people want to get the property taxes down we seen some homeowners whose um property value increased by like a hundred thousand a hundred and fifty thousand like their property value doubling in price so it makes their taxes go up by the equivalent percentage of that like a hundred percent hundred and fifty percent whatever it is like it's been crazy so we were just helping them out um right now it is 7 9 p.m and i'm waiting on my god mom to get here she's supposed to be getting her hair done in the morning at 6 a.m but i texted her and i was like tt do you want to come tonight so we don't gotta wake up so early and she said yes thank you god daughter so i'm gonna get her in tonight um i probably won't show y'all her hair just because i'm gonna record a hair tutorial over it because she has locks so i'm gonna show y'all how to do box braids over locks 
And that's it for tonight, y'all. I'm low-key tired, but I'm going to knock her hair out. Because I'd rather get it over with now than opposed to having to wake up early and interrupt my sleep in the morning. But that's it for today, y'all. Good morning, YouTube. So I have these jeans right here. And I can't, I can't get them on, but they don't fit the way I want them to fit. So I'm about to cut them because I'm delusional. And I think that me cutting them is going to make them fit better. So we about to do that. And then we're going to see what happens. I cut one leg. It did pretty good. So now I'm about to fold them in half. So I can get them as even as possible. Y'all get the gist. Okay, y'all. My plan worked out. I should have showed y'all how they fit on me before I cut them. Because this is a huge difference. Like, they look... It feels so much better. I barely could even get them up past my waist at first. So that's the new move. Cutting my jeans, they don't fit no more. I might be late on the wave, but I'm here now. I feel like I should do something with these pieces. Like maybe cut them up some more and then put them on some elastic and have a scrunchy. You know? Don't let them go to waste. Well, I'm not doing that today, though. Me and my mom are about to go get something to eat. And then we probably going to go to the zoo or something. Hopefully. But whenever I do figure that out, I'll let y'all know. So I accidentally lied to y'all. I went ahead and just cut them because I was like, it's actually kind of stretchy material when I was pulling on it. So I just went ahead and cut it and it kind of worked out. I think I'm going to take it out and then put another ponytail holder in it and then put the little jean scratching on top. But I don't know if I'm keeping this shirt on today or not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Y'all, my dad's friend has this new puppy. His name is Rocky, and he's just so cute, but he got my dog tripping. Look at them. <laughs> I was letting them play with each other, but then they started scaring me a little bit too much. So then I picked them up, and I brought my dog in the house. But then I had to bring Rocky in the house because I wanted to show him to y'all. Be nice, Peanut. I just seen this good old dinner I'm about to eat y'all I cannot wait but I'm about to close out this vlog I want to say thank y'all for watching if you're not already subscribed please do that for me share like comment engage say whatever y'all gotta say in these comments Please.